Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. Welcome back today for yet another installment of Operation Christmas Child Christmas in July shoebox inspiration. If you missed my first two Christmas in July shoebox unboxings, you can find them on my OCC 2022 playlist or in the Christmas in July playlist on Robin's channel, Matt Man and Robin. And on that playlist, you'll see several Christmas in July unboxings from Robin and also Carol from OCC Land. So check it out. And I've packed this one for a two to four year old boy with a really cute Yeti theme with a cameo from Rudolph. And I packed it in a standard OCC shoe box, as you can see. It is um, almost domed on top, and it's definitely going to need some strong tape to uh, hold it down. But I did fit it. Inside the lid, it has a cute Yeti, and I wrote on there, You are one cool kid. When he opens his box, this is what he is going to see. Right on top. He's got the most adorable little Yeti plush. And this was a contribution from Joan Cowan from my Amazon wish list. It is adorable. This is by Aurora. And a Yeti, better known as the Abominable Snowman, is a mythical creature. And like a unicorn or a mermaid, if it was real, I suppose it could be scary. But this one is definitely not scary. And just like a teddy bear or a plush tiger, Yetis can be really cute. And I found some really cute ones for this shoe box. So let's take a look at what else we've got. This is what started the Yeti theme when I found this t-shirt at Walmart on clearance for a buck. And it's got a Yeti riding a snowmobile and this is a size 4 Garanimals with a long sleeve and if he wanted to have short sleeves he could easily cut that those off or you know an adult could and he could have a, a short sleeve shirt and to go with his shirt I gave him a pair of gray cotton knit jogger pants with a drawstring waist. These are also Garanimals. And the grays match well. He's got three cute little bath squirter figures that I found also at Walmart. 50 cents for the three of them. They were in the uh, baby department. And we've got Rudolph. This is one of the little cameos you will see of Rudolph. And Rudolph's girlfriend, she's got a bow in her hair, and a Yeti. <laughs> it's really cute. So he can either use them as bath squirters or just as toys to play with. I thought they were adorable. He's got a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer coloring book featuring a Yeti. And it comes with four jumbo crayons and stickers is the first page and we've got some yetis in there and a few of rudolph and some other christmas stickers santa is in there as well and then i added some other fun christmas stickers including dinosaur and sweaters and snowflakes and polar bears hats and gloves and cups of cocoa and then it's just a coloring and activity book with a lot of fun images to color. Since he only had four crayons, and I couldn't really fit another pack of crayons in this box, I was able to slide these down the side of that Yeti. And I've been trying to put them in a box anyway. They are markers. One side is a marker. So he's got yellow, blue, and red, and the other side is a stamper. So 
so it also picks up the ink and you can run it across a page and it has little each one has different designs on it I gave him those to add to that and then he can use this blank paper to use uh, for his doodling and drawing with those markers. I found a Yeti cup at, and this is a Zach brand cup. I found this at Target for $1.49 on clearance. It's got a cute little Yeti wearing a hat is the top and it does have a straw that goes in it and his ball fit great on top i gave him one of those franklin tea balls i still have a few left i love these i'm going to be sad when i run out of them and then in the bottom of the cup i stuffed a little uh, gray knit hat and a pair of gloves that match. And that matches his outfit. Cute, cute Yeti cup. Let's see if I can find that here. It's a nice fat straw that goes inside. He's got a couple of pairs of socks. These are Umbro socks, and I got a six pack of these on clearance at Walmart for a buck. Those are the ones that I wish I had purchased more, but I did not. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And then he's got two pairs of underwear. We've got monsters on these, and this is outer space. He's got a little bell shaker toy and a cute book, my little sound book. And uh, I will peel this off. I left it on to remind me that I paid 89 cents. It was 90% off and it makes sounds. And it has a cute little Christmas story about Santa and his reindeer. So I thought he would enjoy that little Christmas book. I think it's adorable. For school, I gave him one of these half composition notebooks. He has a pencil pouch filled with school supplies. The mesh pencil pouch is, is from Amazon and was donated by Angie, and inside he has a little pencil sharpener with a couple of penguins on it. I think that was from the Dollar Tree, and a pink eraser. He's got three um, number two, regular number two pencils, and I gave him some novelty pencils with funny erasers on them. We've got Rudolph a mitten, and a snowman. Might be the abominable snowman, I don't know. And he's also got in there a couple of uh, just little animal rulers. He's also got a scissor. He's got a Hot Wheels toothbrush from Joan, and I added a blue cap to it, and then I slipped it into a cello bag, also from Joan to keep it as clean and sanitary as possible. He's also got those adorable hug -a boo, -boo Band-Aids, also from Joan, and a comb from another viewer, and I slipped it into another one of those plastic cello bags. I gave him a couple of these really cute, stubby Hot Wheels cars. They're like compact cars. I gave him one in red and one in green. Christmas colors. I think he will enjoy those. And he's got one of these magnetic drawing boards. I found this at the Dollar Tree a while back. 
I haven't seen them in a while, but they are really nice. A nice big size. They often sell the smaller ones, but they got these in for a minute. And it's just a little magnetic drawing board. And then it came with these two like tracer rings. They actually look like bracelets. And this isn't going to a little girl, but I think a little boy, if he doesn't know that they're to trace with, would enjoy wearing bracelets too. <laughs> so he's got a drawing board. And the very last thing in the box is a drawstring backpack that I made him out of reindeer fabric that I found at Walmart after Christmas last year. So he can tote all of his items home or use it for storage or maybe even use it for school later on. And that is the Yeti themed shoe box that I've packed for a two to four year old boy. And I hope you liked it and were inspired and got some ideas for your own shoe boxes. Thank you so much to the viewers who contributed to this shoe box. And thank you everyone for spending some time with me today. I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.